Sam is almost complete. Let's do a good thorough safety check. I want to check, make sure we've got good front brake lever feel. Make sure there's not excessive free play in the throttle. Same will apply with the rear brake lever. Let's make sure we've got good brake pedal feel. At this point, I can turn the ignition switch on. I can check my turn signals, both front and rear, both sides naturally. I can also check, make sure both my front running lights are illuminated. I can check my horn. I can check high and low beam. Again, remember you do have indicator lights in the dash. Make sure those are functioning correctly too. I'll make sure I have good brake light actuation, both from the front and from the rear. At this point, I'll start the motorcycle and then I can shut it off. I'll check my engine oil and my transmission fluid level. When you're starting the motorcycle, make sure you wait for the check engine light to go out in the speedometer. After letting the motorcycle run maybe 30, 45 seconds, maybe a minute, I'll shut everything off. I can check my oil level on the dipstick with the motorcycle on the side stand. Wipe it clean. Reinsert it and thread it into the crankcase. And check our oil level. The dipstick is clearly marked. I'm going to wipe it clean so you can see. It has a add mark, which is one quart, and it has a full hot mark. Your oil change mark should fall somewhere between these two marks to consider it correctly full. You can reinstall the dipstick. Make sure it's tight into the crankcase. Now I'll check the transmission fluid. With the motorcycle on the side stand, I'll remove the transmission dipstick. I'll wipe it clean. Again, there are marks, add and full on the transmission dipstick. Wipe it clean. Reinstall it, but don't thread it in. You can pull it back out as long as your fluid level lands between the two marks. The transmission has adequate amount of fluid in it. We can reinstall it. As with all threads, start them by hand. Make sure they're not crossed. Run them right down until they're snug. And then we'll torque them to between 25 and 75 inch pounds. At this point, we've checked oil level. We've checked transmission level. I want to take a brief moment and discuss probably the most neglected area of the motorcycle. That would be tires and tire pressures. Tires are not only dictated by wear, but by age. Rubber is adversely affected by the environment it's used in, whether it be sunlight or harsh climate. Make sure that your tire pressures, which are clearly marked on the sidewall, are kept to their proper pounds per square inch specification. 